Hi. In this slide, I'm going to explain to you the process uh, by, by which you uh, d figure out the service value equation for a niche, uh, reinvent that service capability of your company, and take it to the competition. And really, this slide sort of embodies about 90% of all literature and strategies about competitive strategy. How, how do I outcompete the competition for some rare creature out there that I want to sell on a profitable basis? So the first step in this, this whole process is to identify the target customer. And we do that by looking at the customer profitability rank report, looking you know, for, for two, three, four, five birds of a feather within the top 10, 15, 20 most profitable customers, and use them as proxies to go find everybody else that, you know, A to D that would fit into that category. Um, and then once we know who they are, the second step, and this is very critical, somebody has got to go out there and say, who are you? I need to understand your service value needs at a, a better, deeper level than anybody else has ever done before. And the next four slides are really going to talk about how do you do that. And in my turnarounds, I've always been the guy that's had to go out and do that. Uh, just because often uh, I come in with a, a blank slate. You know, I, I didn't grow up in the industry and have, have self-imposed constraints, and I'll come back and illustrate that in the next slides. But once I get all these new insights, then, then I come back here, number three, and report to all the people in the box and say, you know what? We are going to have to change uh, our service processes and, and so forth to be more user-friendly and give the customer exactly what they want. And we've got, def we've got the customers on the wall now. We've got eight measurements that tell us that we're giving great service, and we're going to go out and give these guys 110% of what they asked. If we do that, we start to steal business. Just takes a matter of time, sometimes very quickly. Remember the Las Vegas edge factor, 5.26%, you clean everybody out in roulette in you know, 20 minutes. Hey, how about if you got 10, 15% advantage times four, five, six different variables, it doesn't take long at all. And in fact, it took, took me in my first turnaround using this whole service value approach, nicheonomics, took me about six months to get things turned around, the metrics really good to go out and start selling service excellence obnoxiously to target customers. Um, and from that time, in one year, we went from about 8 million to 16 million, and we went from a loss to making about a 5% return on sales by just dominating uh, the larger, better value buying customers in the niche. Now, what's the competition going to do? The competition is going to wait a year and a half and wake up one day and say, you know, didn't these 20, 30, 50, 60 customers used to buy a lot of stuff from us? What happened? And so sure enough, my biggest head dead competitor sent a little entourage of about three people out a year and a half late and said, hey, didn't you used to love us and give us lots of business? And the, and the customers got upset. He said, golly, I cut you off and switched to this, this other company. I thought you'd be out here in two days. Uh, I guess you couldn't have loved me that much. And so they're really angry about it. And the cust but the competition said, well, why'd you switch? And they said, oh, well, these guys, you know, have a late cutoff and zero errors and on-time delivery and all these things. And these guys are thinking, we can't do that. We go broke. So what they offered was a lower price. They said, you know, if you buy a lot of stuff from us on a monthly basis, we'll give you an extra five off. So now what happens is the customer comes back to us and says, hey, we love you. Uh, and so here's last look, can't you be a little more competitive? But that's where we were able to say, no, we're glad you brought this topic up because we worked hand in glove with you to prove to you how our service value lowers your total procurement costs, has increased your uptime dramatically, and that's helped your bottom line, your employees, everything else. If you switch these other guys, you're going to lose all that. And we forgot to ask for our fraction of the incremental profit action we put your bottom line. So now that you think about it, we probably should raise our price a couple points, and you should still be happy to do business with us. And you know, basically, there was a standoff. They sort of said, "Well, gosh, no, I, I, I you know, I, I, I don't want to pay a higher price." And we said, "Well, then, how about getting married and let's take it to the next level, and 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 integrate and automate and and you know, come up with replenishment systems in house and so forth for you and feed it over the computer and and if if you want lower prices, that's the direction we have to go." So some guys were happy to leave it the status quo. Some people said, no, let's take the next step. Let's get married. But nobody switched. One guy very got very upset. He said, you know, this really makes me angry because I've always had the power before, and now you have the power, and I resent the fact that nobody else has figured out how to imitate what you're doing. But it turns out to get the whole, all the people in the box over here, 
to focus on the um, you know the customer and, and make it all happen that's tough to do and it's tough to imitate that's it thank you